Hello. Chances are if you're watching this, you got stuck trying to draw some kind of shape on Khan Academy. And um, Khan, Ken, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. <laughs> Khan Academy. Okay. So here I have a triangle function. And a function is some name with two with an opening parenthesis and then a bunch of inputs and it doesn't have to be numbers it could be like strings or true or false or anything that you put between these two uh, parentheses is called a parameter so these two parameters define a point and that's how um, this uh, function that's how its algorithms figure out where to draw the vertices of this triangle. Now, the next thing you need to know about is pixels. So that's a pixel, that's a pixel, that's a pixel. That's about 200 pixels. OK, so where is, what, is, what does this number have to do with this shape that you're seeing over here? Well, why don't we just grab the um, scroller bar and move it around? Oh, it has to do with that point. In fact, it's the x-coordinate of this point, which means that right now there's 312 pixels between here and here. And that's all you need to know about how to position your shapes is um, the x-coordinate tells it how many pixels to the right, and the y-coordinate tells it how many pixels down. It counts top to bottom, which is kind of the inverse from what you may have seen in geometry if you're in like high school or whatever. So pairs, pairs of numbers, x1, y1, x2, y2. This is the second point. So if I adjust this one, I'm going to be adjusting the y value of it looks like that point right there. So if I make it bigger, the triangle shrinks and gets smaller. <clears throat> now, it's good to understand that and all, but um, there are tools out there that will just spit out code for you. So, for example, I created this uh, meta triangle editor, and I'll leave a link to this program in the comments on my YouTube video so that you can come here and use it once I teach you how to use this. In fact, the triangle that you saw at the beginning of <clears throat> this video, before I changed it to some other triangle, was produced by this program. <clears throat> it's a whole lot of code that just spits out one single line of code. And then uh, you, uh, all of that code is just for like keeping track of what I call a meta triangle and it's the it's a triangle object stored in memory and then whenever you click a key like I'm gonna type Y right now it doesn't matter you could hit spacebar you could hit enter I'm gonna click Y this line of code pops up and then you can just copy and paste and one more thing before I go, this is how you color, yo. RGB. This tells the program how much red, this tells the program how much green, and this tells the program how much blue to fill the color. Or you can go over here, select a color. So if I wanted to make it solid green, Zero red, zero blue, solid green. 255 is the max. If you put more than 255, it defaults to 255. Don't be afraid to break things. <clears throat> what happens if I put a negative? I'm actually not sure. What if I put a negative? Well, I guess it's going to default to zero. Just... uh. Try and figure out how things work 
by experimenting with code. That's a very good strategy. And I'll leave you with that thought. Have a good day. Let me know if you have any more questions.